Hello, and welcome for the top amazing news of the month. TikTok is lit up by attractive female electricians saying, I guess my sockets need changing. The internet is going electric thanks to these hot sparkies. TikTok is gushing over female electricians who are illuminating the platform with their beauty and girl power while self-assuredly claiming their own niche in the male-dominated field. UK-based TikTok user Edis Abel Zero shot to fame last week after posting a video of herself dancing at a job site to the sexy rap song Smack That by Akin. She then ride to the rap while flaunting her figure in a crop top and cargo leggings. She is not the first female electrician to go viral on TikTok for flaunting her glitzy appearance. Either. A Canadian TikToker known as Carly the Sparky has amassed an astounding 6.3 million video likes by taking viewers to her job locations and demonstrating how she powers up homes and businesses. According to TikToker, this is the best way to avoid jury duty. One TikToker shared a get-out-of-jail-free trick for avoiding jury duty. In a video Hunter Kaimi, who uses the handle at Hunter Kaimi on the platform, complained that he was trying to avoid jury duty. What makes me want to serve on a jury? It's just stupid, he cried. In his video, which has received 778,800 likes and 3.1 million views as of Thursday, he explained that in order to prove his suitability as a juror and the absence of any biases, he had to complete a questionnaire. Your children are suffering from your phone addiction. Children in trauma counseling have made horrifying confessions that have brought to light the devastating emotional impact of phone-obsessed parents. The tragic remarks, which were made in sessions with a counselor by the name of Courtney, showed how severely affected kids were by parents who accidentally ignored them or lied to them. One of the most heartbreaking remarks was made by a nine-year-old, who complained to their counselor that their parents are always busy or on the phone. Why am I here? I want to run away, the child said to Courtney. The therapist wrote out samples of what her young clients had shared with her on sticky notes and compiled them on her ask. She was told by a six-year-old that they felt inferior to their parents' technology. They said, I wish I were as significant as their phone. Another kid thought they were treated worse than the household pet. My dog receives more interest. Jetstar flight from Melbourne to Brisbane is forced to land when a fight breaks out. After a terrifying midair altercation started, a Jetstar flight had to be diverted. The moment when punches were thrown and passengers attempted to separate two warring men can be seen on video captured inside the Melbourne to Brisbane flight. The fight broke out 24 minutes into the trip. The pilot of the aircraft decided to land the fly at Melbourne Airport, where two individuals were arrested by Australian Federal Police. According to a passenger there was a ruckus. There was yelling, people started getting up, and it carried on for a few of minutes. Before he boarded the airplane, a different passenger claimed one of the males was aggressive. The men were taken off, and the aircraft departed once more towards Brisbane. In a frightening outburst, a woman hurls food and spits at McDonald's employees. Online footage has surfaced of a woman hurling insults and spitting at McDonald's employees in Adelaide, Australia. The woman can be seen repeatedly throwing herself at the counter while claiming that a manager hit her. You can hear her saying, you hit me in the face bro. After that, the manager responds, no, I did not. After a failed wedding cake, the bride is left fumbling. Before her big day, a bride received one of the worst wedding cake catastrophes, leaving her racing to find a new cake maker. Reddit member you, Holmes and Pupin Pasta posted a picture of the terrible excuse for a wedding cake. The bride stated, My parents encouraged me to get my cake created by her friend, who is allegedly a professional baker. Influencer Brand Flakas is planned for cleaning up his shambles of a life. A man whose life was in shambles has revealed the brilliant tip that enabled him to regain control of his situation. Bran Flakas, a TikTok content creator, recently used an apparently win-win strategy by offering one of his unemployed buddies the chance to make some fast money in exchange for organizing his life. In a widely shared TikTok, he admitted that he had paid one of his female pals $150 for a day's worth of personal assistance. He advised viewers to hire a personal assistant for the day if they were watching the video. I said, sis, I'll give you $150 can you kindly go through my closet and take out all the clothing I don't want to wear, because my buddy Ellie is presently unemployed. He assured Ellie that she may keep any proceeds from the sale of any of his used clothing. Additionally, he asked her to dust and vacuum everything. The TikToker, who has more than 200,000 followers, then presented clips of Ellie hard at work in his room arranging his wardrobe and separating his stuff into tidy heaps. Dunkin' Consumers and Upset Following Changes to Reward Scheme by Coffee Giant Dunkin' announced the nationwide launch of its new rewards program, promising members additional food and beverage benefits. Users claim that the new program accomplishes the exact reverse, requiring them to spend far more money in order to receive the same incentives bonus. The new program does away with free beverages for birthdays and instead gives consumers a 3x point boost on that particular day. 
Although Duncan claims to have improved the pace at which customers earn reward points from 5 per $1 spent to 10 per $1 spent, people claim the business has dramatically hiked the reward cost. Woman uses clever shower trick to make her clothes two sizes bigger. Thanks to this TikTok hack, you could never experience too tight jeans again. A damp but ingenious remedy for your too tight jeans has gone viral online and involves entering the shower while wearing all of your clothes. The technique was demonstrated in a TikTok video that and its Abby Abigail uploaded with the description now they're sitting jean, which received 6.6 .6 million views. She bragged that the jeans, which were originally a size 8, suddenly suited her size 12 frame. The internet is divided over this cheesy frozen pizza hack. When it comes to cooking frozen pizza, Australians are becoming increasingly inventive and probably a touch insane. After a user questioned whether it was acceptable to top a pizza with more cheese, a popular online forum was engulfed in debates about additional cheese and quick noodle topping. These were the top interesting news of the month I hope you would have enjoyed the video. For more interesting videos and news please like and subscribe our channel info quippo and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.